Jan Numuk Awol Yetel Abishan. And once more, you have our thanks, Edward. You are welcome here. Thank you, sir. I'll rest here for a time before setting up, if I may. How's her child? She is a strong woman, but not invincible. Not the child. Sorry for your loss. If I'd stayed in prison, they'd have taken him from me. He'd not be alive. Maybe this is God's way of saying I'm not fit to be a mother yet. Carrying on like I do. Cursing, drinking, and fighting. You are a fighter, I. In prison, I heard stories of the infamous Anne Bonny and. Mary Reed taking on the King's Navy together. Just the pair of you. It's all true. Anne would have won that day if Jack and his lads were passed out in the hold from drink. I don't. Everyone's gone, aren't they? Mary, Bracken, Touch, all the rest. them so rough as they were. Do you feel that too? All empty inside? I do. That will curse me. My targets by sight well enough, but how will I find them? We have spies and informants in every city. Visit our viewers and the assassins there will guide you. That fixes Torres and Rogers. Bartholomew Roberts won't be near any city. It might take months to find him. Or years. But you're a man of talent and quality, Captain Kenway. I believe you will find him. And if you're at a loss, do not be afraid to call on your quartermaster for aid. Quartermaster! What's our present course? Due west, Captain, if it's still Kingston we're sailing for. It is indeed, Miss Bond. Call it out. Weigh anchor and let fall the courses, lads. We're sailing for Jamaica! Thank you for the tip. I'm going to use that. So, hey, Rogers, remember me? It's not worth my skin. Run! He was a privateer once. How is it you lack so much respect for sailors only trying to make their way in this world? You couldn't possibly understand my motives, cretin! You have spent a whole lifetime dismantling everything that makes our civilization shine. But I do understand. I've seen the observatory, and I know its power. You'd use that device to spy and blackmail and sabotage, yes. And yet all for a greater purpose. To ensure justice, to snuff out lies, and to seek truth. There's no man on Earth who needs that power. Yet you suffer the outlaw Roberts to use it. No. I'm taking it back. And if you tell me where he is, I'll stop the man. Here at the edge of a blade, I find a friend in you at last. Principe. You mad. Bastard. Our best sources say Principe. Bye, loser.
short one, as promised. How well I know myself. And what of you, Edward? Have you found the peace you seek? I'm not aiming so high as that. But what's peace but a confusion between two wars? Oh, oh, you're a stoic then. But perhaps I was wrong about you. She might have had some use for you after all. She? Of whom do you speak? Oh, she who lies in wait. Entombed. I had hoped to find her, to see her again. To open the door of the temple and hear her speak my name once more. I... Talk sense, man. Oh, I was born too soon. Like so many others before. Where's the device, Robert? Uh, 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 destroy this body, Edward. The Templars. If they take me... Well, okay, we'll burn you. Got him. You're done, Torres. What? He was a faker. This again, eh? What do you get? If you could speak, mate, it would gladden me to hear your side. <coughs> you humbled me once, and I took that hard lesson, and I bettered myself. Die, knowing that for all of our conflict, you helped make a soldier out of a scoundrel. Leave this life for a lasting peace. Down among the dead. Who's this Taurus? And what's your mind done to earn a death sentence? He's a Templar. Like Rogers and Hornigold. Men cooking up schemes to use the observatory for ill purposes. For power and control. The violence he'd cause with this thing would be subtle but heavy. Deadly. Yet leaving no mark. Does that make sense? Like, if there was a drought, and people was thirsty, and one man had a large cask of water but gave a sip to none, he'd be a killer with no blood in his hands. Aye, like that. Fair enough.
There we go. He's dead finally. Captain Kenway, ever a splinter in my side. Does this murder fulfill you? I'm only seeing a job done, Torres. As you'd have done with me. As we have done, I think. You have no family anymore, no friends, no future. Your losses are far greater than ours. Well, that may be. But killing you rights a far greater wrong than ever I did. You honestly believe that? You would see all of mankind corralled into a neatly furnished prison, safe and sober, yet dulled beyond reason and sapped of all spirit. So I, with everything I've seen and learned in these last years, I do believe it. You wear your convictions well. They suit you. Torres awakened something fierce. Are we safe? With the device returned, I believe so. What do you call this place? Captain Kenway's Folly! Here we go. It's a wall to sue to kill her. Cap winning. We will seal this place and discard the key. Until another sage appears, this door will remain locked. There were vials when I came here last. Filled with the blood of ancient men, Robert said, but... They're gone now. Then it's up to us to recover them, before the Templars catch wind of this. You could join us in that cause. I will, but... Only after I fix what I mangled back home. It arrived last week. Gentlemen, how do you find it here? It will work for us. But our goal must be to scatter our operations. To live and work among the people we protect. Just as Altairi Ben Lahad once counseled. Well, until that time, it's yours as you see fit. Edward, Captain Woods Rogers survived his wounds. He has since returned to England, shamed and in great debt, but no less a threat. I will finish that job when I return. You have my word. How did he glue? <laughs> Evening, Anne. Edward? I'll be sailing for London in the next few months. I'd be a hopeful man if you were beside me. <laughs> England's the wrong way around the globe for an Irish woman. Will you stay with the assassins? No, I haven't got that kind of conviction in my heart. You? In time, I. My mind is settled and my blood is cooled. Sail ho! Coming into the cove! <laughs> You're a good man, Edward. And if you learn to keep settled in one place for more than a week, you'll make a fine father too. Yeah. 
Miss Jennifer Kenway. May I introduce myself? Jennifer Scott, if you please. I'm sorry. I... I... Uh... My daughter was raised by her mother, Caroline, until she passed away some years ago. Jenny prefers to use her surname to mine. Ah, please forgive my ignorance. I will. She may not. Father, help me. This little rascal, however, is a Kenway. What's wrong, Haven? I can't see the stage. Up we go. How's that? Fine. But won't your arms tire? Hey, I'm not so old as that. But if they do, then we shall quit this posh gig and go and meet your mother for some chocolate and whites. How's that sound? Yes, please. Okay, hush now. In a world where pirates rule the waves, these men will discover that nothing is sacred and everyone is committed to rum, plunder, and women. Hola, ladies. This summer, Abstergo Entertainment invites you aboard for the adventure of a lifetime. So sharpen your cutlasses, shine your hooks, and sail with the Devils of the Caribbean. This virtual experience is not being rated.